benefit of hindsight, is there something that you regret today about your presidency? Or is there something that you did then that you probably would have done differently? Me? What I did everything that I should do the way I should do that. But what about Odi? The invasion of uh, a village in Odi where some where the whole village was wiped out. Of course, if you have if I have soldiers and police who are the instrument by which I should maintain security and I send police and they were killed and I sent soldiers and they were killed, what do you expect me to do? If you are in my position, what will you do? You will fold your arms? You answer me, my dear brother. Definitely not. Okay. <laughs> okay. But do you regret the killing of women and children in that invasion? I feel bad by any, of any soldier, being, of any individual being killed. I feel bad. But don't forget I have other responsibilities. Tinibu don't come under intense fire of these soldiers will be say they just spy like that and nothing is being done. But the two weird people they ask now be say who oh, they revenge who they put fire on the yes and as soldiers we sit there among them they revenge they burn this whole place down. See they not just spy their able soldiers with their strong they they vibrant young they just spy them like that my country people this one calls for a lambo now this one i call they make all the understand say civilian government and military they don't resemble hmm. they say if now military nice down for the the place where it's the boost down they don't fish they come at tay tay but why be say all these things they linger they don't want to see waiting they on that the thing where they hide my country people this is suspicious military officers and soldiers that were killed were circulating in the media. Unfortunately, nothing was done by way of statements from the government on the 15th and the 16th, whereby the military authorities and soldiers would be, uh, you know, made to believe that the government, you know, was really uh, grieving with them. And so, in the night, on the night of the 16th, angry soldiers storm Okwama village and set it on fire. For me, it is avoidable. And, and you see, you can't blame soldiers alone. There is a general position in the society whereby, because of loss of confidence in the judicial system, everybody, uh, you know, embraces more justice. Even the statement of the president yesterday, we're in a civilian and democratic system of government. The president cannot order military authorities to fish out a, a, a civilians involved in a, a heinous crime. That is the duty of the police. In this case, it was reported by the chief of defense staff. This I read that on Saturday, General Christopher Musa, that some arrests have been made. So what I expected the authorities in Delta State to do on that day was to have these suspects transferred to the police so that on Monday morning, this morning, they will be charged before the court. And a statement ought to have been made. We have arrested the criminal elements. We are going to have them arraigned in court on Monday. At least that will go a long way to douse the tension that was allowed to mount, culminating unfortunately in the attack on uh, Okwama village. We saw this in uh, uh, Zakibia, we saw this in Odi, we saw it in uh, uh, Baramatu. And when people went to court, nobody was talking of those who were killed. Nobody was looking for the criminals that killed. It was not a question of those who were made victims through collective punishment, which is not part of our law. So this is my worry about this. Again, once again, I want to take advantage of this forum to express my heartfelt sympathy, you know, uh, uh, and condolences to the bereaved families and the unfortunate.
costs. The condition shouldn't happen in a civilized society. So let me, Mr. Mr. Favala, I'm so sorry to interrupt you, but if I get you correctly, what you are saying is, I mean, what I get that is your most potent fear right now is the fear of collective punishment. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, please. Hmm. Because there are innocent people in Okwama who are as angry as the government in ensuring that these criminal elements are brought to justice. But when you go and set their houses on fire and attack innocent people, you have offended domestic laws because it is right in our country that there is no vicarious liability in criminality. Two, Nigeria domesticated the Geneva Convention in 1960 and under Article 33 of the Geneva Convention, collective punishment is prohibited. Repressal attacks are not allowed. Mm. Innocent people cannot be attacked, even in a war situation. And, and it does serve, you know, that these reminders are given, especially in a situation where the military feels, not just the military, because uh, as the president uh, ha has said, the attack on the soldiers, soldiers who have pledged their lives in service of this country, uh, for, this for a group of youths to just brazenly attack them and murder them in the manner which they did. I mean, these are people who had gone into a community to try and keep the peace between that community and another community in a situation where, I mean, you highlighted the fact that the police should have been the one doing such a job. But right now we have delegated that responsibility to the military. And in this instance, they were representing Nigeria. So how do you think that a country can send home a message to groups of youth? Because these are not just, it's not just these youth, this youths in this community that are looking. There'll be a host of other communities that are going to be looking at how this particular situation is handled and how the Nigerian nation can say, look, a lot of things are happening in the country, totally unacceptable, but this is something that will never be tolerated. Attack on soldiers and men of Nigeria trying to keep the peace somewhere. Uh, 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 in 2023, 43,000 people were killed in the United States of America through gun violence and mass killings, including innocent school children. But, but I can assure you, in each of those cases, the system has been deployed to pursue all the criminal elements involved, whether they're in the state or they have left the country. In this case, if there is a killing, not just of soldiers, even of civilians, we must, as a people, develop a system that will front the killers and have them prosecuted. A, a few years ago, about three, about four, five years ago, a general, a retired general, was arrested by criminal elements in Jos, butchered and buried in a shallow grave. What happens at the end of the day? The police went into the matter and arrested the 19 criminal elements involved and had them charged. And this is what is done in a civilized society. In this particular instance, arrests have been made through those who have been arrest, uh, arrested, all their all the other couples who have been arrested, arranging court. And then the case speedily tried so that members of the public would know that this government, or indeed any government in Nigeria, will not tolerate the killing of soldiers, the killing of civilians, and so on and so forth. After this, so Nadia Show would they can't reply. Can't talk. Say Tinubu is confused. He says he's confused. He says his endorsement of defense headquarters to go after killings of the soldiers in Delta states is a licensed killing. My country people, hey, 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 this one tough. If Tinubu they solve one, another one would they call Nigeria while another finish. Now, dear, the opposition party called Hamaram. He can't talk. Say, why Tinubu government not go delifoir? Say, pad dead budget don't turn to. 
translated padded poverty and padded insecurity where be say Nigerians don't know where they go, they don't know where they come from. This one is disaster. Now this one I can make a big contact. Say tiny book government na furu furu. Say this government no get plan. He said to the extent where be say the accountant general. I remember that story where they can go old meeting for London. Eh? They can go hold their meeting for London. They see Abuja, they not go. They see Lagos, they not go. He said the government no get structure. He said Tango say no be in town. Say if not, therefore they compare him and Tinibu together. My country people go show na the video. He be say Tinibu go at those states. He go gather he meeting people. We be say they come they talk about their party. How they want to strive to win the next election. We consign the Edo state election. My country people, how is they on fire? They kill your soul. Soldiers. They adopt your children. They say make you bring money, make they release them. People not see food chop on God day everywhere. You see, they talk about your party. Let me give special recognition to Adam Oshomale and many of you in that air present. Good afternoon. May God Almighty grant our prayers Amen. and give our party the victory. So many of familiar faces and leadership are here. And I'm glad that you are here. You understand the importance of a new state to Nigeria and particularly to APC. We started a good journey together. We've had a shadow. Since then, it's been a roller coaster after Adam. I will reserve my comment to the campaign period. I am very glad of what you've done as party leaders, putting our house in order. To our candidate, thank you. To the running mate, thank you. Uh, you are not the first set of people in history to have done this. But you are sitting with a man as the chairman of the party who had experienced the similar situation that you were. He ran with Kokosia and Kano against one another. He had been becoming the running mate, the deputy, for eight years, then being the governor for eight years. That made him a veteran and navigating the ship of politics. And we are at it. Distinguished Senator and our fact bearer. We are putting you forward to be able to hold the party in trust for us and get a victory for us. The same thing with Honorable Eronimi. You've been described as giant killers and you work hard with the party leadership to achieve a reputation of defeating those seems <coughs> impossible if one good Fitris 
for us. This time the time is here for you to make names in Nigeria politics. <laughs> and I can assure you, we are with you. Thanks to the leadership, all of you that have seen here, Julius, in every, you know, uh, pastors in Yamu and many of uh, ladies from Edu and particularly the Honorable Minister for Niger Delta who spent so much time reviewing things with me both inside and outside the cabinet. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister. May I ask you, distinguished senator, are you happy? Honorable, are you happy? Okay. That is one very important question to me. If you are happy, we are happy. Are you determined? Are you? If you are, we are determined. We are going to work with you. We are going to stay with you like rock of Gibraltar. That's all I can show you. The party is supreme. But victory is superior. And very, very important. The leadership from Edo who are here, they've seen politics, particularly in the heat of things before you guys matured into the arena. But you've proved yourself as people we can trust and people we can fight for. Adam, Sir. are we doing well? Very well. Are you sure? We are grateful. We are, we are good to go. Thank you very much. In case the first time you come here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more uploads.